But I also want us to understand, you know, that's great. Those are the logistics that are involved. But something that people need to understand is that you are responsible for your preaching of the gospel. You're responsible for how you preach the gospel out there. You know, we went out there and had a great day yesterday on, uh, on the Indian Reservation up there in Paradox. I had about, I think I had eight teams out there. We had 31 people saved. You say, well, how, could that, how is that possible? Well, you know, when you go out for five hours with people who know how to preach the gospel, everyone's a talker in a receptive area, that's not uncommon. I mean, it's the, it, it, I mean, that's the simplicity that is in Christ. That is the, that's the love that God commended toward us, that He hath made the, the gospel so easy to believe that if a man would just, with the Holy Spirit inside him would just open up the book and just preach to him the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you know, that it's by belief, you know, it's by grace through faith that we're saved and not of works. You know, the gospel's easy. You know, living the Christian life's hard. It can be difficult, it can be the struggle. We'll go to heaven. God made that easy. Why? Because He commended His love toward us. That's how much God loves us. He made it easy. So if you go to an area, you can get numbers like that. But let me say this. I trust every last one of those people that are reporting me are reporting me an accurate number. But as somebody who leads soul winning, I'm not going to go around and make sure every you know follow up on all of these numbers. I just say, you know what? If you're going to go out and preach the gospel, you're responsible for how you preach it. And whatever you come number you come back with, that's on you. <clears throat> you are responsible how you preach the gospel before God. Notice there it says in Luke 10, after these things, verse 1, after these things the Lord appointed other seventy also and sent them two by two before His face. You see, God sees everything we do, and your soul winning is no exception. When you're going out there, He's paying attention to how you're preaching the gospel. You know, you're going to give an account one day for your works here. Lord, keep something in Luke 10, turn over to 1 Corinthians 3. We will give an account to God for our works here. We will give an account. So that's why it's important that we understand how to preach the gospel. That we're thorough, that we're effective, and we take the time that needs to be taken to make sure a person understands how, how to, uh, what, it, what it takes to believe and understands the gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, look at verse 13. Every man's work shall be made manifest. You know, all the numbers that are coming in, I pray every last one of them is accurate. And there might be people that we count that were just telling us what we wanted to hear. Here. But there might have been other people that we didn't count that actually did get saved. People that, you know, we couldn't lead to the Lord right then and there, but maybe later, they did get saved. And these things all balance out. And we get criticized for counting. You know, and, I, and counting to me is not the biggest deal in the world. I don't feel the need to make sure everybody knows how many people I got saved or didn't get saved. You know? But I'll tell you what, I, I'm, not, I'm all for counting. And so is God. I mean, he's got a book called Numbers. He does a lot of counting in the Old Testament. And there's nothing. I mean, he counts in the New Testament. You know, there was 5,000 added on the church, 3,000, you know, and such as should be saved. God's given the numbers. So I'm not against it. But I'm just saying that you're responsible for that number, whether or not it's right. And every works, every man's work shall be made manifest. You know, I got, I got 12 people. I got 10. Praise the Lord. One day God's going to try that and see if that's really true. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. So we're not going to. It's not that we just get to report a number here and just you know because I you know it's possible. I don't know anybody that does this. I don't believe anybody does. I always give people the benefit of the doubt. But is it possible someone just likes to report a number when the preacher calls out and said you know at the beginning of the service and says let's count up our soul winning for the week. They just like that have feeling they all raise their hand. I got five. You know. Hey, praise the Lord. It's a good feeling to have soul winning numbers report, isn't it? It's a blessing to that you went out during the day and won somebody to the Lord. And that you have you can come back, you know, knowing that you've helped somebody escape the fires of hell. That's what the blessing is. It's not to be seen of men. <clears throat> so it's possible there might be somebody that does that, but I'm gonna tell you what, one day. Their work shall be made manifest. 